Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to A Hat in Time. Uh, in between parts, I found some interesting graffiti in between in these tunnels with the Dweller's Mask because I was hitting it like crazy for some reason. But we're off to fight the boss, well, a boss of this area, not the finale boss, but a boss. The Toilet of Doom. It sounds just as appealing as it is, really. So it looks like an outhouse that's dripping green. Ew. But we can see there are other dwellers that have been uh, stashed away. That does not look like a very nice thing. I'd say we'd try to take advantage of this uh, to try to get to other places, but I don't think that's going to let us. Oh, we made it up here. That's something I didn't expect. Oh, it is warning us that we do not currently have our hookshot equipped. Since we didn't go through this town with the hookshot before. So. We can apparently clip through this tree and get a rift token. But with the uh, hookshot, we are going to get a lot more uh, potential movement in this area. I mean, not too many things are actually hidden up in the treetops, it looks like. At least not in these treetops. So I'd say let's just go where we're supposed to go. Which seems to be this way. Apparently you can just stand in that and not be affected. I thought it would hurt us or something. Uh, don't ask why I jumped into it then, if I thought it was going to hurt us. Yeah. So, we have made it across. And I'm going to take a look around the arena first. Full health, so we're not in too much worry there. I want to see if there's anything hidden, uh, potentially like a relic or some yarn. Doesn't, well, okay, it does look like it right there. So, take this guy. Blew the first and the third one up, but not the second. Interesting. And that one blew the... be fine. But we can get this chest which holds either a yarn or a relic. Let's find out. A sprint yarn. Just in case you don't have the sprint hat yet, I guess. Not what I expected. Let's take one of these hearts with us. But there really is nothing else in this area. Alright, I guess let's head out to the boss. Which is a very angry toilet, I guess. I can see how you're supposed to damage him. But we gotta wait for this bit out again. Oh. No. Okay, so he's gonna be spitting out stuff, including. As long as it doesn't land in the um, in the what's it called? Oh, and we can kick him while he's open. I, I was wondering. As long as it doesn't land in the um, in the acid center, I guess is all I can call it. Where we just landed. Um, I'm going to blame the camera more than anything there because it just flipped me around like three times and dropped me in the acid. Because, what? So, let's get some stuff out. Unfortunately, lands in the 
Yeah, you can see because it's focusing on this guy. Um. If you aren't facing the right way at the time, it's going to cause issues. See, look at that. Like, I'm trying to hop away, and it keeps forcing me to face him. Which, I mean, you do want to see the boss. I can't, I can't disagree with that statement. But I'd also like to not be thrown into the lava because uh, the boss was behind and now in front of me. No. You can see him flinching in terror. We're doing much better on this run through of the boss, though I get the feeling we're not quite uh, close to the end yet. I think it's going to have lots more hits than I'm... Because, yeah, this seems like the third phase. Oh. So we gotta run into it without running into the acid one. That's interesting. At least I think that's what we have to do. I'm surprised that he gave me one that's not the damage. Well, I'll, I didn't take the acid one. I thought I did. I am, I'm literally holding one that should hurt you. Come on, give, give me one of your heals. No, I'm sorry, you hit the thing so you fall right into his attack. I guess? Alright, round three. Here we go. One hit, alright. Start. Whoa! It took me till now, apparently, to realize that there's a bunch of um, the guys in the subcom forest just kind of chilling next to the boss arena. And throwing me flowers awkwardly because of me beating up this toilet. Uh, that took me a bit longer than it should have, I suppose. It's third hit, I think. Yeah, we. And he healed us too. This is the nicest enemy I fought. It wants me to locate and lock onto the hookshot thing as opposed to fight the boss with the weapon we have. Interesting. Okay, that went a lot easier than the last time we just did this. Uh, the only downside being, it still wants me to go to the hookshot over um, anything else. What? Oh, it wants us to go up here? I'm really glad we didn't get hit by that, because I didn't actually spend anything. And now we can actually see where it's landing, that's actually probably the best. Unfortunately, it seems our lamp has died. Um, the lamp we were using to hookshot around earlier. I hate when visually frames last just, just long enough that you get hit by something that you weren't expecting. Like, it's like, oh, I'm invincible. Not until, uh, like, just not long enough. But the boss is down. Took me four tries, or three tries. Not the end of the world. That at least means it was a somewhat difficult boss. But we have defeated the boss. Contract complete. However, the issue now becomes we don't have another contract. Oh. We're going to have to run around and look for one, because... We don't have one.
I suppose there are the uh, time pieces that the time rifts, I guess, that we could go into. Um, but I don't know. We currently don't have, but we do have an intruder, I guess. Oh, and it's a jar with a hat. I guess we can go see the jar with the hat next time. Thank you guys for watching this part of A Hat in Time. We defeated the toilet, and in the next time, we will go see this new intruder. See you guys then.